So, um, I got the list of people that are coming tonight for game night. Okay. Um, so apparently, um, Sean and Miguel might come, ah. so they might not. Right. But in case they do, we need to make sure we get a sci-fi game to play. Okay. Because um, Sean's really into sci-fi. Right. And if they do leave early, we should pick a game that's easy to kind of stop in between and not really mess anything up if people continue to play. Right. So we should be able to start right away yeah. and easy to set up. Okay. Um, Amy and Amasa called out they're not coming, and oh. uh, Sean and Chris are coming. Okay. But they've never been here, so oh. I kind of want to give them a game that can impress them, you know, because right. we want them to come back, you know, and um, so easy to learn. It's right. important oh. to because okay. they're brand new. And of course, we've got Jesse and Stefan, regulars here, right. but they kind of want to play something light and fun this time. We were okay. kind of tired of the, the draggy, depressing stuff that we were playing before, apparently. Uh, oh. And of course, we got oh, Jeff and Phoebe. Wow, that makes like. We need a game that at least can handle like eight people, maybe with oh. expansions or something. Oh, okay. And um, because right. it's such a mixed group of friends that yeah. never come together, right. we need something that has a lot of interaction between oh. people. And um, yeah, so oh. I don't that know is, if we that, have a game that's, like that. that's a lot. But you know what? I think we have one game that might just work. Oh, really? Yeah. What? I'm Jason Headley, and this is Carl Lee, and welcome to Game Night. This is Cosmic Encounter. Cosmic Encounter is a game from Fantasy Flight Games for three to five, six, seven, eight players if you get all the expansions. It is a game that is ultimately about getting your ships onto other people's planets and dominating the galaxy. But simple as that may sound, there is so much more here than just a game about getting your ships onto other people's planets. And Carl, t tell them... The basic game. Tell them how they win the game. Okay, it's my turn, and I am the green planet. You don't know what alien I'm at, but uh, Jason will tell you that later. And so, my turn, I draw a destiny card to see who I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack the red planet. So I'm going to take the hyperspace gate and point it at one of their planets. I'm going to attack that planet right there. And so I'm going to put a couple of my ships over there, up to four, to attack. Does anybody else want to come in on this with me, be an ally? Okay, blue team jumps in, and uh, how about orange? They decided you want to jump in and attack the red, but oh, white team is actually helping them too. And so, now that we've got all our allies... We pick a card from our hand, one of our eight, and it's an attack card. There's actually all the cards too, but for now, simplify. It's an attack card, and I'm going to lay it face down to attack when we're ready. We flip it to see who's won. I got a really low card, so supposedly we lost. If we won, we would have all went to their planet, right? Let's just say we did win. We'd all go to the planet, and everyone who won, got on the planet, would move their ships on this warp thing to show how many... Um, planets that you're on and when you get five you win otherwise when you lose like we just did we or whoever loses all goes to the warp and then we can't use those ships these cards get discarded continue who's next now we could go on and on. We could talk about negotiate cards, which have players negotiating planets or ships with each other. We could talk about morph cards, which literally just morph into whatever opponent card that they're playing. But what makes Cosmic Encounter special isn't any of that. It's the aliens. See, at the beginning of every game you play, every player is going to get a random alien, and every alien literally breaks the game. Every alien has a special rule or a power which changes everything, and every time you play they're going to be completely different. And there are things that are as simple as hate here, which has opponents lose cards or ships, to warpish, which gets stronger as more ships die because it adds them to its attack count. The bride literally marries characters to each other so that they have to work together. And what's really crazy here is that I would love to tell you that the aliens are super balanced and everything works well together, but they're not. And that's the best part about it, is because what balances this game is not these and the perfect balance that the creators went into making these, it's the players. See, as soon as you find out who everyone is, you're going to instantly know somebody who can get more powerful as the warp gets more powerful is probably someone you need to take out early. So the game self-balances because you as a team start working together to take out one person simply because of the alien that they are. And you're working together and fighting each other and forming alliances simply based on these aliens. And because of its imbalance, the game is suddenly balanced perfectly through the chaos that is aliens. I mean, you can be an animal. You can be hate. 
You can be hate. Okay, now everybody has their alien. I'm the alchemist. Ooh, it means I have the power to, for transmutation. I can convert cards by type. Cool. And now everybody has their eight cards and... You know, Jason already showed you the cards that you battle with, with the attack points and stuff. But there are other cards too. Like for example, there are cards called Flares, which basically is every single alien in the, in the deck and each one has their own card. For example, this is Kronos' card. And if you are Kronos, you have a very, very special ability here. But if you're not Kronos, you get to use one of his abilities. And they normally just do crazy things and you get to keep this card. You don't even have to discard it. Like at this, uh, this card, Kronos, it says, At the start of any regroup phase, you may look through the discard pile, choose one card and add it to your hand, then shuffle a discard pile together with a deck to form a new deck. Finally, give this flare card to Kronos if he is in play. Okay, so this card, some cards, you have to give it to the person if they're actually in play. Otherwise, you get to keep it and reuse it again the next time. And so there's a whole bunch of them. Cryro, Deuce, Disease, Ethic, every card for every alien special powers for them and any other player. And then there's artifact cards. A cosmic zap allows you to stop powers. You'd be like, BAM! Sorry, you can't use that power, the power that's on your card, zap. Or you can have a, a card zap, zap! I negate that card that you just played. And then somebody will be like, well, I'm gonna negate that card you just played. Well, then I'm gonna zap your power, mo Anyway, you get the point, right? And there's a force field. There's all kinds of cards you can play in this game. It's just crazily random. It's so much fun. Oh no, there's a cosmic quake, Jason! Cosmic quake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? But listen, there's even more going on here because there are expansions. So many expansions. And every expansion adds more aliens. This is that one, and here's another one, and they add other rules and they add other things that happen and they add even more players and if you get all of them you can have up to eight players and then you get you get things like the hazard deck which create hazards as you go through space you get things like the rewards deck giving you even more reason to gain allies and have people defend you because then they get special rewards and then you're getting other other colors to play with you're getting space stations which also give you powers powers upon powers upon powers that give you more and more randomness and craziness and i swear to you no game of a cosmic encounter not a single one you ever play will be exactly the same as the game you played before because there's so many things going on here that it changes every single time and i just I, I, it just just it just keeps going it just keeps going so i think it's time for a little full disclosure cosmic encounter is in every way our favorite board game that we own right yeah it's um on our top five. Yeah, I mean, we love playing it. We love introducing mm -hmm. it to new people. Mm -hmm. We love the expansions. We love the game. We love how crazy it gets. We love how hilarious it is. I am telling you, you will laugh like a crazy person playing this game because it is so funny when people are playing cosmic zaps upon card zaps upon, but I can use my alien it's, to do this. It's always just so surprising what can happen. Anything that could happen will happen. You're just like, I couldn't believe... That last game when this person did that and then they did this and then they yeah. did this on top yeah. of it. It was just every single time we play, there's always something like that going on. And I'm just always yeah. surprised and impressed and entertained to death by this yeah. game. Now, one complaint that is out there about Cosmic Encounter and anyone who doesn't like Cosmic will tell you usually the reason they don't like it is that it is so random. Some people mm. don't like how crazy random it is. But I will say, despite its randomness, it never feels unfair. Right? Uh... I mean, sometimes you might be stuck with an alien where, like, what am I going to do with this? But surprisingly, you could do something yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. You'll always be surprised by what you're doing. We haven't played every single alien do. yet. No, because there's a lot so of them. That might make a difference. So. Yeah. But that's the one complaint about it. I We personally love randomness in games. We like when things are crazy different. We like things like Crossroads Cars and Dead of Winter yeah. that make games completely because, different every time. Yeah, because, because anything that can happen, it's like, it doesn't even matter how far you are in the game. If yeah. you're winning now you may be losing in the next second if you aren't doing so well you could totally win mm. at any moment so yeah it's anybody's game all the time and it's very easy to learn we like that too it's a very easy game to introduce people to and it's a game that i find more often than not as soon as you're done playing one game the people who you just taught it to mm -hmm. want to play it again because it's so ridiculously you know, and fun. not to say that it's so random that there's just no strategy whatsoever oh, there every is. single game you play is different so the strategy is different for every single player or in every single game too yeah. because of the aliens every alien has such different rules 
that you have to strategize for each and every single one, so every single game is different. I mean, yeah, there are plenty of games out there that rely completely on randomness, but this mm. is you can be good at Cosmic Encounter. You can get good at this game. There is strategy to every yeah. alien. There's thought that has to go into it every time you play because you're always doing something different. And that's what makes the randomness special is because it's not just you know, yeah. randomness I think randomness, if it's, you, you actually uh, have to try. keep quiet and don't tell people what your alien's powers are, maybe just mention it real quick, but don't really tell them everything, you can surprise everybody and then yeah. you can probably beat the game, but otherwise... I will say there is a so, variant which has you not reveal your alien's power until yeah. you use it for the first time, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's a lot of variants and there's a lot of just cool stuff sure and is. the artwork is great, is all great. the pieces are great, it, everything about this game is, is just really top quality. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Like, if you watch this show, and even if you don't play board games, and you're like, man, I want to get my first board game, this should probably be it. This game is fantastic. Um, I, I, there's nothing, nothing I don't like. I mean, if it. anything, it should be in your collection, in your top ten. It doesn't have to be your favorite game. So if you buy this and it's your first game and you hate it, you should probably still own it because it's so different from anything yeah. else that you will have. Yeah, and you really will laugh just as much as you would at a crazy party game or at an Apples yeah. to Apples or at a Cards Against Humanity. You'll laugh and you'll be playing something that requires a little bit more And thought. this isn't even a new game. It's not. This it's game was originally cool. made in the 1970s and then was wow, re-released by 70s. Fantasy Flight recently. And yeah. they, they just came out with another expansion last year, which is this guy here. So mm -hmm. hopefully they'll keep coming out with more. Yeah. And I do really appreciate, though you do have to get the expansions to be eight players, there are a few games of this quality that are this epic that support up to eight players because most true. games stop at about four or five at this mm -hmm. level of epicness um and that's really great because things can just go completely insane yeah. when you have that many sometimes players. we can't even invite all our friends because we're like oh we can't invite those two because then it'll break the four to six player thing yeah so this goes to eight you can this invite, game is invite all your phenomenal. friends well not all of them not all of them because some of them won't yeah so them. luckily some people couldn't come tonight like yeah. uh, Amy and Masa and maybe Miguel and Sean will show up later but if they do we just start we can just game. always throw them in and that's the other thing one last thing I want to mention this game is fast you it's not a game that's going to last you hours upon hours upon hours it's a game that plays really quickly and that's also great for gaming groups that are a little bit newer to gaming you know gaming groups that are newer aren't going to really probably want to play a three hour game right off the bat so yeah. this is something that's really really quick and fun yeah. and easy to learn yeah. and we say buy it yeah buy, buy it. it buy it buy now it. Buy it like the wind. Yeah, buy, you buy it. wind. I don't know, yo. We buy, buy it all the time. Your voice is just getting worse and worse. Getting worse <laughs> guys, and worse. Le, 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 le. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I promised I'm myself I wouldn't destroy the game because we're getting ready for game don't night. I know people are about to come over. Don't. No. Oh, man, oh, lucky you didn't knock over all the freaking ships. I would have to pick them all up. All is right, that a well, challenge? No, Alright guys, well, uh, we're going a little long here, but you can follow us on Twitter. Yeah. I'm at Cat. This is at Carl K. Lee. You can follow us on Instagram. I'm at EasyCat. This is at Carl K. Lee. Um, we have yeah. blogs. I'll put links to mm -hmm. those so you can check those out. Please make sure to like and yeah. subscribe. We're and on also, Board Game um, Geek. Yeah, Board Game Geek. Um, the Light for us. T H E L Y G H T. We put all our videos four. there, so please like yeah. them there as well. And listen, we are in New York. We are looking for new friends to game with. So if you're into yeah. board games and you're looking for someone to board game with, yeah, we want of, to play games with you. Yeah, we so, just checked out a, a group that's in Astoria by where we yeah, are. Yeah, board games. Don't stop us. We want to play board games with you, not other creepy, yeah. weird games. But, anyways. But, uh, anyways, check us out and like and subscribe and comment, and we'll talk to you next week when we review something that will probably be really good, but not quite as amazing as Cosmic Encounter. Yeah. Yeah. Don't destroy the table! Ah!